I want to begin by reading you an excerpt, that means a little piece, from a primary source. What someone wrote down after having seen the Boston Massacre. He says, on Monday evening, the 5th of March, a few minutes after 9 o'clock, a most horrid murder was committed in King Street before the Custom House door. It was done by eight or nine soldiers under the command of Captain Thomas Preston. This unhappy affair began by some boys throwing snowballs at the guard. Soon afterwards, a number of people collected, and the captain commanded the soldiers to fire. They did, and three men were killed and several were wounded, one of which died the next morning. And this comes from the diary of a gentleman named Deacon John Tudor, who was at the Boston Massacre. I begin by reading that because your job today will be to use the space underneath, first of all, page 7, and if you need to, go over to page 6. You will need to use that space to write a historical fiction narrative as if you were at the Boston Massacre. That's why I'm having you start on page seven because if you use this outline and tell the main ideas and some details about each one, you will need to add words so that it makes sense. But this outline already has all the ideas you will need in order to write a good historical fiction narrative. So you need to write a primary source. Yes, you're making it up, but it needs to sound like you were at the Boston Massacre. <coughs> when you start, you need to remember that you are a colonist. You are not one of these soldiers. You are one of the colonists. You need to say why the Boston Massacre happened. What was going on at first? Some students, when they do these assignments for me, they actually look in the picture and say, I want to be the person right there who's hollering at the soldiers, who's reaching out to them. Sometimes they pick a person who is mentioned in the notes and say, I would like to be writing this as if I'm Crispus Attucks, although somehow you're going to have to explain the fact that you died and you still wrote this. So maybe Crispus Attucks was standing beside you and he was your friend. At any rate, you need to say why it happened and then what happened. And finally, how do you feel about what happened? You could include the soldiers being put on trial and then being sent out of the town of Boston. It is also possible, because this didn't happen for a year, it's possible to end it as if this is just the night of March 5th, you ran home and you're writing this down before you forget about it. You wouldn't know that the soldiers had been put on trial. You just would focus on how do you feel about what happened at the Boston Massacre without knowing anything afterwards. You need to write on page seven, make sure it's neat. If you need to go back on page six, you may not go on to page eight. Use all of the information that you have here. You could also look information up online or in the social studies book. You don't have to. You will probably do better, in fact, if you focus on the main ideas and details that are given to you here. That is an assignment. When it is done, make sure you send me a photograph.